Well, it looks like I have some time before I need to consume the soul of my next victim. I think... Ugh, I think I'll just take a quick nap. <laughs> now what? Who dares disturb the sleep of the great Timothy the Ghost Engine? Father Ed, what brings you to the Shadow Realm? Oh, not much. I was in the area and I just figured I'd stop by and have a chat with my old friend, Timothy. Also, I was just on my way to destroy another universe. You know, the one that a certain blue tank engine resides on. You are a sad, strange engine. You have my pity. Now leave before I destroy you. Leave? I just got here. And I was just beginning to warm up to this place. And besides, this home is more for the likes of me rather than you. So as far as I'm concerned, it is you who must leave. I may be evil, Father Ed, but I'm not sadistic like you. I don't agree with your morals, and I think you need help right away. Don't try to play the innocent one with me. You've done a lot in your time. You kill all those passengers, and you traumatize the poor edges of the island of Sodor. All those innocent people, and those innocent lives that you've taken and tortured. Well, apart from Thomas, he deserves what you got for destroying my world's Thomas. You think running passengers off a viaduct is bad? You literally killed an entire engine through an explosion, and you destroyed your entire universe. I saw it. It. It's in shambles! What kind of engine goes ahead and destroys an entire universe? That universe was inferior to my vision. That's why I had to destroy it. And besides, that bat controller got what he deserves for putting me through all that pain and suffering and misery. His words, Gordon and James, for putting me through the hell that is my feebleness. And soon I will do the same to Thomas One's universe. Over my dead body, Thomas is mine and mine alone. I want you to calm down 
and tell me the whole story from the beginning. What happened? Okay, so Nightmare Thomas is back. Nightmare Thomas is back? But that's impossible. Thomas One dealt with him. Well, kind of. It's not really Nightmare Thomas. There's more than one of them. And basically, one of them kind of looks like Thomas Four, which leads me to believe that he, along with Thomas Three, may have been brainwashed. Anti-Thomas, you have to get out of here while you still can. I'm warning you, it's every Thomas for himself! Thomas Two? Wait a minute, who the hell are you guys? Wait, the one on the left kind of looks like Thomas Four. If that's the case, then that means someone must have brainwashed him. And these other two are possibly Thomas Two and Three. Oh my god, I have to get out of here before they brainwash me too. Holy crap, holy crap. What do I do? What do I do? Um, uh... The magic buffers! Come on! <laughs> ah, damn it. My world's Thomas got away. Well, I better report back to Father Ed. Father Ed, I got some of the Thomases, though the orange one managed to escape. Excellent work, Prometheus. You've done well. I knew I could count on you. Now listen here, Prometheus. I'm gonna go pay Thomas one a visit in his universe. I want you to check on Emma's progress on that weapon I'm building. Will you be needing any backup, sir? I should be fine. If I remember correctly, Thomas is currently being trained by Lady and Nigel to become a wielder of gold dust. If I can deal with the ghost of Timothy, then a godlike being shouldn't be too much of an issue. <laughs> Nightmare Thomas? What are you doing here? For as long as you live, I will never truly go away. What are you talking about? Don't you see, Thomas One? I am a part of you. Every Thomas from every universe is a part of you. You have a number. I have a number one. Your name is Thomas. My name is Thomas. We are both E2-class tank engines, along with many other Thomases from many other universes. We are practically the same. It's time for you to grow up and accept your fate, because in the end, you have no other choice. No. I REFUSE to accept this as my fate! We are not the same! We are very different! Do you understand me, damn it? WE ARE NOT THE SAME! Ah! God damn it. Thomas, I heard a lot of screaming. Is everything alright? Yes. I'm fine. You had that dream again, didn't you? I don't know, lady. It's just... I just feel really bad for killing Nightmare Thomas. I mean, in the end, he's a Thomas from another universe, and I don't know, maybe he was just a good engine, but he was turned evil. I don't know. But I just feel like I, I could have saved him. Like I saved the other Thomases. Thomas. Nightmare Thomas was a troubled soul that needed to be vanquished. And you did the right thing by defeating him. Because of you, the entire multiverse has been saved. Maybe you're right, lady. But still, I feel bad. You are a very kind and selfless tank engine, Thomas. The world would not be the same without you. Now you better get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you. Tomorrow is your big test, and you want to be ready for it. Good night, Thomas. Good night, lady. Now, Thomas, are you ready for your final test? As ready as I'll ever be, Nigel, sir. Don't worry, Thomas. I'll be right by your side cheering you on. For your final test, you will be doing... Thomas won! Thomas won! 
Oh, thank God you're still alive. Anti-Thomas, what are you doing here? I came to warn you that we have a huge problem on our buffers. I'm in the middle of my final test at the moment. Can it wait? I'm afraid not. The situation is too dire. Nightmare Thomas is back. What? Nightmare Thomas is back? That's impossible! Well, kind of. It's kind of an army of Nightmare Thomases, and one of them kind of looks like Thomas IV, which leads me to believe that the Nightmare Thomases that were chasing me are Thomases II, III, and IV. So I think they've been brainwashed by an outside force. Brainwash? But who would do something like this? Well, there's only one engine I can think of that would be insane and psycho enough to do this. I may have something to do with that. Surprise. <laughs> Father Ed, I should have known. What are you doing here, Father Ed? I heard that Thomas One's big test was today, so I figured I'd surprise him by paying him a visit and giving him my full support. Plus, I've come to finish what Nightmare Thomas started. Killing Thomas One and taking over the multiverse. Lady, get the two Thomases to safety. I'll hold off Father Red for as long as I can. Oh my god. Anti-Thomas, what is Father Ed doing back here? I don't know. He must have escaped the location that Jason put him in. You guys wait there. I'm gonna go help Nigel. You know something, lady? You're very strong in your own right. I don't know why you chose to remain when you could have upgraded to platinum and eventually diamond. But how should I know? The only magic I have ever mastered was black dust. Let me tell you a little something about how I came to be. I've went from universe to universe, destroying them all. They kept putting me in walls, in cages. But I just kept breaking through them. Wall after wall. And they eventually just got sick of it and just showed me the door. You wanna know the good part about walls? They're easy to knock down! Lady? 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 Where are you, lady? Thomas. No! Lady! Oh my god. Lady, are you alright? Father Ed is far too powerful. You need to run, Thomas. Run while you still can. No, lady. Don't leave me. Please. I need you. The island of Sodor needs you. Don't worry about me, Thomas. I'll always be with you, even if you can't see me. Just promise me that you'll only focus on completing the test, no matter how long it takes, because you are worth more than what you've become. You must take my place. Lady? Lady? I'm... I'm so sorry, Thomas One. No, 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 lady, please don't die on me, please, no! No, lady... <laughs> Thomas One, I'm really sorry about your world's lady. As someone who's lost his world's lady, I know exactly what you're going through. <laughs> Thanks, Anti-Thomas. This was all my fault. I should have went there and helped Lady and Nigel. And now Lady's dead, Nigel's injured, 
and it's all my fault for not doing anything. Don't you dare pin this on yourself, Thomas One. This was in no way your fault. This was all Father Ed's doing. I promise you, Thomas, Father Ed will pay for what he did to you. For what he did to me. And for what he did to this entire railway, and even the multiverse. We'll get through this, Thomas One. I promise. You know what? You're right. Thanks, Anti Thomas. Jesus Christ! Ted, don't do that! Sorry, Thomas. I didn't mean to scare you. But after what Diesel told me, I had to see for myself. Is it true? Is Lady really gone? Yes, Diesel 10, that is correct. Lady is in fact dead. Ugh, damn it! And I also heard Father Ed is back. We need to defeat him as soon as possible. But Diesel 10, Lady is a celestial, and Nigel is a literal god, and they couldn't even defeat Father Ed. What makes you think we have a chance? We've been through this before, guys. If we can defeat Nightmare Thomas, Father Ed shouldn't be a problem. Anti-Thomas is right. We've been through a lot worse together. And I'm sure this should not be an issue for us. I'm not too sure about this, guys. But we'll do it for Sodor. Hey, Bill. Have you seen the new Sonic movie yet? Yes, I have, Ben. And that movie is really good. Who's your favorite character? Mine was Knuckles the Echidna, because Idris Elba did a really good job and Knuckles has the funniest lines. Mine is James Marsden, because he's like a father figure to Sonic. James Marsden. Wasn't he the guy that played that one lion in the second Lion King movie? Which lion are you talking about? You know, the one that kind of looks like a cheaper version of Scar? Oh, you mean the one Nev Campbell falls in love with? Yeah, that one. <sighs> That's Jason Marsden, you nimrods. Two completely different people. Hello, Emma. How's the weapon coming along? It's coming along nicely. That's great to hear. Soon, I will get my revenge on Thomas One and avenge Nightmare Thomas's death. And I will become the god of the multiverse. I can't believe I'm working for a murderer. I mean, I saw what you did to Timothy and Lady, and how you injured poor Nigel. It's just despicable, disgusting, and disgraceful in my opinion. I don't even know why I'm working for you. I should just leave while I still have the chance. Do that, and I will see to it that you never see your brothers again. Need I remind you that the lines of both of your brothers are on the line? I am giving you a chance, an opportunity to save them by having you work for me. And in exchange, I am going to give you the money that you need to treat your brother's illnesses. Now tell me, Emma, do you want me to go back on that promise? No, sir. Good. I'm glad we have an understanding. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm going to prepare for when I fight Thomas One myself. Good morning, Thomas. How are you feeling? Honestly, Edward, I've been better. But I'm trying to get through it. Thomas One, Sir Nigel wants to speak with us. All right, I'll catch up with you in a second. Edward, would you mind taking care of Annie and Clarabelle while I'm gone? Of course I can, Thomas. Anything to help you. Awesome. Thanks, Edward. <sighs> Poor engine. I really wish there was something I could do to help. Wait, maybe there is. Hey, Nigel, how are you holding up? Thomas. I am a literal god. It's gonna take a lot more than a demon to bring me down. Nigel, I have a question. I was told a while back that if anything were to ever happen to Lady, that we would cease to exist. Now, I've witnessed Lady die twice now, and both times I'm still here. Why is that? The answer is quite simple, Anti-Thomas. Lady doesn't keep the engines alive. I do, along with the rest of the god line. You see, Lady's not a god, but a demigod. She has godlike powers, but she's not immortal like me or the rest of the gods. Oh, well, I guess that makes sense. But I also have some very sad news. 
Lady isn't Father Ed's only victim. I just received word that Timothy is also dead. Yeah, we already know that. There's a ghost story about him and everything. No, I mean dead as in dead in the afterlife. I don't know how he did it, but Father Ed managed to enter the afterlife without my knowledge and take out Timothy. The worst part about it is, this isn't the first time he's done this. But how can you kill someone in the afterlife? They're there because they're dead. Trust me, the afterlife isn't what you think it is. Sure, you can't die from diseases or any accidents, and you can't commit suicide or anything. However, you can still be killed by someone else. And when you die in the afterlife, you cease to exist. But my question is, how is it possible for Father Ed to just come and go into the afterlife as he pleases? I know, and I've already told him a number of times that that's not how the afterlife works, but he never listens. Also guys, is it me, or did Father Ed come back with a much darker purple color? No, Thomas One, you're not alone. I too noticed this. Maybe the darker purple color has something to do with the black dust, I haven't really played around with it much, so your guess is as good as mine. Okay, so Nigel, what do you want us to do? Here's a list of some of the remaining Thomases that haven't been affected by Father Ed's brainwashing yet. I want you to go to their universes and recruit them and have them help you in the fight against Father Ed. Father Ed? You summoned me? Yes, I received word that Thomas One and Anti-Thomas are going to rally up the rest of the unaffected Thomases to try and defeat me. We can't let that happen. You need to get to the Thomases before those two Thomases do. Right away, I'll rally up the Nightmare Thomas army. All right, Thomas One, where to first? According to Nigel's list, the first Thomas we have to visit comes from a universe where everything's primitive. You ready, Anti-Thomas? Yeah, I'm ready. Then let's head to Primal Thomas's universe. Whoa, where are we? I don't know. It looks like some type of jungle. Whoa, what the hell was that? I have no idea, but it sounds like it's heading this way. Wait, is that? Oh my god, it's Diesel X! <laughs> Thomas One, I think we should get out of here. Good idea. Run! <laughs> He's gaining on us, Anti Thomas. Go faster! I'm going as fast as I can! Crap, go back, go back! We're dead, we're dead, we're dead, we're so dead! Wait, this isn't about us. We have to get out of here. <laughs> Did we lose them? I think so. Now to find Primal Thomas. Ah! Ah! Please don't hurt us! Who the bloody hell are you? And what are you doing in my home? Wait a minute. You two look like me. We're you from alternate dimensions, and we need you to come with us immediately. How do I know I can trust you? We're your friends, and we want to help you. You see, the multiverse is in grave danger. There is this evil being called Father Ed, who's going around the multiverse brainwashing different Thomases from different universes in order to create an army to destroy the multiverse. Anti-Thomas is right. If you don't come with us, the next engine that comes will be coming to hunt you down. Please, we're asking you to join us to protect you. Hmm, that is catastrophic. I wouldn't want anything bad to happen to my home. But at the same time, I do love a good adventure. All right. I'll join you. All right, Anti-Thomas, open the portal. You got it, Thomas One. <laughs> These tracks look recent. You lot keep looking. They couldn't have gone far. You're gonna do what? Edward, are you out of your mind? 
You heard about what happened to Lady and Nigel. If they can't even defeat him, what makes you think you have a chance? The power of persuasion, Percy. I'm just going to confront him and see if I can talk some sense into him. After all, they don't call me Steady Eddie for nothing. You are right. They don't call you Steady Eddie for nothing. All right, but promise me you'll be careful. Don't worry, Percy. I will straighten this Father Ed character out and end this nightmare once and for all. I will come back in one piece, I promise. But first I need to visit his universe to learn more about his backstory, just so I know what I'm dealing with. Well, here I am, Father Ed's universe. Huh. This is worse than I thought. I'm sorry, Traveler, but the island of Sodor is permanently closed. Oh, I'm not here to work. I've just come to ask a question. Of course. What would you like to know? I am an Edward from an alternate reality, and I humbly come to you to ask you about a character called Father Ed. Father Ed. Oh, what a character. May I ask why you want to know about him? You see, your world's Edward is currently in my world as we speak, plotting to kill my world's Thomas because of something that happened to your world's Thomas. And he's planning on destroying the multiverse if we don't stop him. So I'm thinking if I talk some sense into him, then maybe he'll change his ways and we can end this nightmare once and for all. So please, Gordon. What can you tell me about your world's Edward? I see. Well, if you really want to know, then I guess I could give you a backstory. But I must warn you, it gets dark. Father Ed used to be a kind, cheerful, and wise soul. Kinda like you. We called him Father Ed because he was like a father figure to all the engines. He would help out whenever needed and give advice to engines that seek it. But that all changed one tragic day. The day when Henry got into that serious accident. He was in the steamworks for a very long time. We all made sure to visit him after work, but none of us visited him more than Edward. Edward and Henry had a very special bond. A bond that could not be broken. They were as close as best friends could be. Hell, you could even say they were brothers. Unfortunately, the accident left Henry damaged beyond repair, and Sir Topham Hatt had no choice but to order him to be scrapped. And of course, Edward didn't take this very well and was very depressed. But that was only the beginning. Not long after Henry's death, Sir Topham Hatt bought a new engine named Rebecca. To Edward it was too soon, but he was willing to let it go, under the condition that she doesn't replace Henry. Then Sir Topham Hatt made the grave mistake of buying Nia. He bought her without his knowledge, and it wasn't until Edward saw her in his birth that was when he found out. And that was the straw that broke the camel's back, or in this case, the engine's boiler. What did he do? He went completely mad and began terrorizing the island of Sodor, starting with the newcomers. He killed both Nia and Rebecca through explosions, and afterwards, as a big F.U., he destroyed the entire island. I watched in horror as Edward destroyed Knapford Station. He looked right at me with that sinister smile that could not be unseen. And as he became more and more psychotic, more and more evil, <laughs> he turned into a light lavender, almost purple color. He was never the same Edward again. And as for the once docile and beautiful island of Sodor, it became nothing more than a deadly wasteland. Jesus Christ, that's terrible. Yes, and ever since that day, I was never able to forgive myself for the way I've treated him. 
And as respect for Henry, I've painted myself green and replaced my number four with a number three. Well, thank you so much for your time, Gordon. I can see you're busy guarding what's left of Sodor, so I'll leave you to it. My dear Edward, if you plan on confronting Father Ed, promise me to be careful. If not for my sake, do it for the sake of your world's Thomas. He's gonna need your guidance more than ever for these troubling times. Don't worry, Gordon. I'll be careful. Good luck, Edward. Good luck. So, Thomas One, what's next? Our next Thomas comes from a universe where everyone's the opposite gender, and the tank engine in question is named Tina. Are you guys ready? I'm ready when you are. As ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> Well, here we are, Tina's universe. Can I help you three with anything? Hi, I'm looking for a tank engine named Tina. Tina? Yeah, she should be here, hold on. Tina, you've got visitors. I'm Jamie, by the way. Nice to meet you, Jamie. I'm Thomas One. This is my friend, Anti Thomas. Hey, how's it going? And that's Primal Thomas. Pleasure to meet you, ladies. What's going on, Jamie? Oh, hello. Who are you? Hello, Tina. We're you from alternate realities, and we have come to recruit you in a multiversal war that will destroy the multiverse if we lose. And we need your help. Hold up. A multiversal war? Tina, are you getting any of this? Well, I was always fascinated about the multiverse, but I was never really sure if it was real or not. There's this engine named Father Ed, who plans on destroying the multiverse, which means my universe, along with yours and these two engines' universes, will be destroyed if we don't stop him. Well, we can't let that happen now, can we? All right, count me in. Let's go kick this Father Ed's ass. Awesome. Two down, one to go. <laughs> Hello there, Strange Diesel. Can I help you? Wait, what, what are you doing? Let go of me! If you want to live, you will tell us where the four tank engines went. What makes you think I'll tell you? Fine, I guess you'll be good for scrap then. Even if I wanted to tell you, I don't know. They said something about going to another universe or something? Another universe. They must have went to look for the last Thomas. You two, take this engine back to Father Ed. We don't want her causing any disturbances. Meanwhile, I, along with the rest of the army, will hunt the Thomases down. Uh, what are you doing? No! Uncouple me this instant! Uh, uh. Okay, guys. This last Thomas comes from a universe where engines are assigned letters instead of numbers. Wait. What do you mean by letters? I mean engines go A, B, C, D, E, F, G instead of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh, that makes sense. Alright, are you guys ready? Ready. 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 Alright, let's head to this new universe. Here we are in a new universe. Hello strangers, my name is Thomas. Who are you? Hello, we are Thomases from alternate realities, and we need your help to fight a being called Father Ed. Father Ed, that name rings a bell. Where have I heard this before? Hmm. Oh yeah, I remember. He attacked my universe once before. Wait a minute, Father Ed's been to your universe before? Oh yes, and he was horrible. When he was here, he took control of my world's lady and caused her to go on a rampage across the island. Luckily, she fought back and she won the fight. And Nigel put an end to this. Mind control, huh? After what we've been through, at this point, I'll believe anything. Well, that's good. At least nobody in your universe was hurt. But people will be hurt if we don't stop Father Ed. So, are you in? You know what? Sure, I'm down. If it means bringing down Father Ed, count me in. Alright, so we don't get confused. We're gonna call you Thomas A. Is that alright? Yeah, that's fine. Alright, let's head back. Alright, we've gotten every Thomas on the list. Let's think of a plan. Hello, Thomases. It looks like you've all rallied up. 
Prometheus. Well, if it isn't Anti-Thomas, have you been? Wait, Anti-Thomas, you know this Diesel? Yes, he almost destroyed my universe twice trying to get gold dust. Speaking of which, I was promised gold dust if I turned you five in to Father Ed. Nightmare Thomas's attack. All right, guys, it's time to put our skills to the test. Let's fight the Nightmare Thomases. All right, they've been defeated. Let's go after Prometheus. Prometheus is getting away. Let's get him. Oh, crap. No, 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 no. Ah! Tina, Primal Thomas, hold them back. You got it, Thomas One. Why are you working for Father Ed? And what is his motive? Do you really think I'm going to answer that? <sighs> ah, alright, fine. Father Ed is creating a weapon. What kind of weapon? I don't know! I don't know anything about it! I just know that it's powerful enough to destroy the multiverse. Why does it even matter to you anyway? You're not going to be able to defeat Father Ed anyway. He's too strong. He just needs one more piece and he'll be unstoppable. So Father Ed's trying to build a weapon powerful enough to destroy the multiverse. Things keep getting weirder and weirder. Where is this last piece? Or do you know? I don't know. Father Ed never tells me anything that goes on. If you want to know about the part, you'll have to ask Emma. Who's Emma? Some turquoise tank engine who's like a mad genius or something. Now, I've already told you everything that I know, so please let me go. Okay, we're gonna let you go now. But we want you to tell Father Ed that we, the Thomases, are coming for him. And that he will be stopped. Oh, I messed up big time, didn't I? What will Father Ed say about this? Hey there, you're just in time. Father Ed decided to give Dimwit and Numbnuts a promotion. Oh, really? Good for them. What's their new job going to be? They're tasked with one of the greatest jobs of all. Getting the final piece of the weapon that I'm building. What? But that was supposed to be my job! Oh, yeah. Yeah, about that. Um, Father Red does want to speak with you. And let's just say he's not too happy. So he's heard. I mean, how bad could it be? Maybe he'll just let me off with a warning or something. I'll talk to him. Maybe he'll understand. <clears throat> Hello, Father Red. Is something troubling you? I don't know, Prometheus. You tell me. Um, well, I, uh, I, um, uh... Spit it out. I just want the truth. That's all. Okay, me and the Nightmare Thomases may have failed to get the other Thomases to join them for our army. Thomas and Anti-Thomas may have beaten us to them. And they may have kicked our asses. There. See? That wasn't so hard, was it? You're not mad, are you? Mad? Oh, no, 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 I'm not mad. Oh, thank God. I was scared for a second that maybe you might be- I am enraged! Father Ed, I swear! I didn't mean to mess up! I gave you one job, Prometheus. One freaking job, and you screwed it up big time. I recruited you because I saw potential in you. A potential second in command. A potential strong minion that can control the army. But clearly, you are not capable of doing that. No, but please give me another chance. I won't screw up this time, I swear! <sighs> you should be lucky that I'm even giving you another job to do. From now on, you are taking Bill and Ben's place on watching Emma. Do you understand? 
understand. Yes, Father Ed. Good. Now get out of my sight. Prickles, I want you to keep an eye on Bill and Ben. Make sure they don't mess up like this Prometheus did. Father Ed, I want to talk to you. Edward to Edward. Well, now this is a nice surprise. You must be Thomas Woods, Edward. It is a pleasure to meet you, and I'd be lying if I said I wasn't happy to see you. Father Ed, why are you doing this? Why are you planning on destroying the multiverse? Didn't you used to be a good guy? What the hell happened? I do this because I want people to take me seriously. All my life, I've been a joke. A punching bag. A bad punchline to a bad joke. Especially to Gordon James and Sir Topham Hat. And I want people to finally take me seriously. Father Ed. You've been through tough times. I get it. No! You don't get it, Edward! You don't get the pain I'm in, and you will never get the pain I'm in! All these years, people have just been yelling and screaming at me and making me crash into free cars, treating me like garbage! Especially that piece of shit, that controller! I destroyed my universe because nobody's civil anymore! Nobody thinks what it's like to be the other engine! Do you think Gordon ever thought what it's like to be someone like me? To be somebody but themselves? They don't. They think that I'll just sit there and take it like a good little engine. That I won't bully Mammoth and go wild! But that doesn't justify your actions, Father Ed. You've done terrible things, including destroying your own universe. Who does that? I don't know how you can do something this horrible. It just isn't in you, because it isn't in me. And you are me. I'm more you than you could ever imagine. I figured you wouldn't listen to me. That's why I brought someone you might listen to. Hello, Edward. Wait. Henry? Is it, is it really you? Yes, it's really me. I am here. Henry, I'm so happy to see you. <laughs> I know you've had a very tough life growing up, and I know you miss me so much, but I'll always be here for you no matter what. Even though you can't see me, I will always be inside, as long as you remember me. But Edward, you have to let it go. You've got to let go of that stuff from the past, because it just doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is what you choose to be now. It's not too late. You can change. You can change back to the way you were before, back when you were just old, cheerful, and wise Edward, if you just let the past go. Henry's right, Father Ed. It's not too late to redeem yourself. Just let it go, please. worried you wouldn't. Henry, get back. I don't want you getting hurt. Be careful, Edward. A platinum wielder, I see. This should be interesting. Your reign of terror ends now, Father Ed. Joined me, Edward. I 
together, we could have been the most powerful engines in the entire universe. We could have ruled the multiverse together and destroyed it, and we could have been the two most powerful beings of all time. But you've left me no choice but to destroy you. Not today. Take that, demon! Come on, Edward. Let's get you going. Thomas One, all the Thomases are accounted for. Good. We're gonna need all the help we can get if we want to beat Father Ed. Thomas! Thomas! Jesus Christ! Percy, how many times do I have to tell you not to jump out like that? I know, Thomas, I'm sorry, but it's Edward. He's in rough shape. What? Lead the way, Percy. He did what? Do you have any idea how foolish that is? I know, Percy and I tried to tell him that too, but Edward was just so hell-bent on trying to get Father Red to the good side. Henry, do you mind if I talk to Edward in private? Alright, Thomas. Just don't do anything that I wouldn't do. What were you thinking, Edward? Were you out of your mind? You could have been killed! I just wanted to see if I could talk some sense into Father Ed. He's had a very tough life. Everyone's treated him like garbage and everything. I just wanted to help him. Well, you're very lucky to be alive, Edward. How long are you going to be in there for? Look, Thomas, I wouldn't have done what I did if I didn't think I could do it. The only thing I can say now is, don't make the same mistake I made. Persuasion will not work on him. Ugh, <sighs> fine. We'll just have to think of another plan to defeat him. Sorry to interrupt you scolding Edward, but I found another Thomas on the list. Another Thomas? But that's impossible. You said that we collected all three. I know, that's what I thought. But this looks like it was recently put on there. Alright, well, let's go get this fourth Thomas, I guess. This doesn't make any sense, Anti-Thomas. How can there be four remaining Thomases? The list said there was only three. Well, whoever this Thomas is, I'm sure we'll find... Oh, crap. Thomas One, you might want to look ahead. Look over where... Bust my buffers! Hi guys. Wait, are you? I was Nightmare Thomas. Well, how the hell did you escape hell? I didn't. I was forced out. By who? Father Ed. Here's what happened. While I was in hell, I came across a tank engine. He kind of looked like me, except he was green. And I could tell by the look on his face, he had something sinister planned for me. Wait, I think I recognized that tank engine. Did he happen to have a number 24 painted on his side? As a matter of fact, yes. Yep, I've definitely seen him before. He's worked with Grimm and Prometheus. Anyway, as I was saying, he threw something at me and it exploded. I don't know what it did, but I somehow survived it. And soon enough... Father Ed appeared. He scolded me for my actions and how I failed to go with his plan on destroying the multiverse or something. I don't know. Then he started beating me and he took away my number, saying that I don't deserve to be the number one. Then he dragged me out of hell back into the mortal realm. While there, he put me in a siding, took away all of my coal and water so I wouldn't be able to move, and basically took my wheels away and left me there to die. How awful. Wait a minute, Thomas One. How do we know we can trust this guy after all the trauma he put us through? Anti-Thomas, you have to remember now that it was the black dust that caused Nightmare Thomas to be who he is. And it's causing Father Ed to be who he is as well, which is why we need to destroy that black dust. And Nightmare Thomas here no longer has black dust inside of him. Because I'm guessing once you fight it, it strips you of not just your power, but your color as well. I never wanted to be a nightmare engine. Purple, evil with sinister eyes. I never wanted this. Father Ed just forced me into it like some kind of test rat or something. 
I don't want to be a guinea pig anymore. I just... I just want to be me. Now, I'm not asking you to forgive me. In fact, I don't want you to forgive me. I just need your help. You have to trust me because I'm your only chance at stopping Father Ed. When Father Ed stripped me of my powers, I felt something that I haven't felt in a while. Remorse. I looked back at what I did, and I regret it. I regret everything that I did. I know it's unforgivable, but still, I'm so sorry. Ah, <sighs> fine. I reserve judgment. We'll see how much black dust he has left in him. All right, let's go see how the others are doing. So which alphabet do you use? Do you use the Greek alphabet or the phonetic alphabet or something? No, we use the traditional English alphabet. For example, I'm A, Edward's B, Henry's C, Gordon's D, James's E, Percy's F, Toby's G, Duck is H, Donald and Douglas are I and J, Oliver's K, and Emily's L. But what happens when you guys get to Z? Does it reset? I mean, at least with numbers, the number line goes on forever, but in the alphabet, there's only 26 letters. Well, that's simple, really. After Z comes AA, or double A, I see. Then A B, A C, A D, A E, A F, A G, until we get to A Z, which then after that would be B A, and so on and so forth. Wait, will you eventually be able to spell out certain words with some letters? Yeah, that's possible. I've seen an engine with the word beaver on his side. Oh, I think I understand. Now what about you? What are our gender-bent names, and all the names of our friends? Well, my name is Tina, Edward is Evelyn, Henry is Henrietta, Gordon is Gertrude, James is Jamie, Percy's Penny, Toby is Tabitha, Montague is Monolette, I know, weird name, Donald and Douglas are Donna and Diane, Oliver is Olivia, and Emily is Emilio. Oh, okay, I understand. All right, everyone, this is Nightmare Thomas. He's going to be helping us defeat Father Ed. What even is the plan, anyway? The plan is, we're going to give Nightmare Thomas a makeover to look like me in order to trick Father Ed into thinking it's me. Then Nightmare Thomas will be the distraction while we follow behind into Father Ed's lair like a Trojan horse, and then at the right moment, we'll launch a surprise attack and ambush him. Sounds like a plan to me. Yep, sounds good to me, Thomas One. Nightmare Thomas, do you think you can do it? I can certainly give it a try. I'm still not sure if Nightmare Thomas is on our side, but if he's our only chance at stopping Father Ed, I reserve judgment. All right, Nightmare Thomas, come with me so then Proteus can give you your makeover. What's taking them so long? Proteus, how are you doing over there? Any second now, just getting the final touches in. Voila! I give you the new and improved Nightmare Thomas. Well, how do I look? Just like me. Are you ready to save the multiverse? As ready as I'll ever be, Thomas One. All right, Nightmare Thomas, you remember the plan, right? Yeah, I know what to do. All right, me and the other Thomases will hide in this bush. You try to get the demon's attention. You got it, Thomas One. Good luck. Thanks, because I will need it. Now, if it isn't the blue tank engine with the number one. Hey, Bill, look who I found. Let's take him to the boss. He's going to be so proud of us. Wait, what are you doing? Let me go. No. All right, they took the bait. Tina, get the others. Thomas A, follow me. Where are those morons with that final piece? I swear, if they're not back within the next hour, their ass is grass! Hey, Father Ed, sorry we didn't get the final piece, but we got Thomas! Well, if it isn't Thomas the Tank Engine, decided to come to your senses, I see. Well done, Bill and Ben. You've done well. Why don't you just... Get rid of me now. Get it over with. Well, I see Twiddle D and Twiddle Dumb actually managed to pull it off. The final piece must be inside of Thomas. 
You take that end, I'll take this end. Wait, what the hell do you think you're doing? We're breaking them apart to get the final piece. Isn't that what you want? Absolutely not. The final piece isn't inside Thomas, you wands! Well, if Thomas doesn't have the final piece, then where is it? Uh, don't you get it? Thomas is the final piece! W wait, what? Come again? This tank engine holds a power unlike any other that I've ever seen. It's got the power of both celestial and demonic put together to make this epic, almost chaos-like power. And I love chaos! Wait, I don't understand. I thought the whole point of this plan was to get revenge on Thomas One for killing your world's Thomas. You see, my loyal minions, it was never about revenge. It's about domination. I'm trying to be the most powerful being in the entire multiverse. And the only way you can do that is if you build a weapon powerful enough to destroy it. I'm power hungry. And with this weapon, I will let chaos ensue upon the entire multiverse. <laughs> Tina, Thomas A, I want you to stay behind and keep an eye on the entrance for any intruders. No yes, problem, sir. Thomas One. Anti Thomas, Primal Thomas, you two are with me. You got it, Thomas One. We'll be with you every step of the way. I know why you're here. What? Father Ed blackmailed you into doing what he says or else he'll kill a loved one of yours. How do you know that? Oh, come on, Emma. Let's be for real here. No sensible engine would ever be dumb enough to willingly work for a monster like Father Ed. And plus, I was also blackmailed into working for Father Ed, just like you. You see, he and I are from the same universe, and I always found Edward as like a father figure and whatnot. Then he became evil and threatened to kill my best friend Percy if I didn't comply with what he said. So tell me, Emma... Whose life is in danger? Why are you working for Father Ed? My brothers Billy and Charlie. They were captured by Father Ed and the Nightmare Thomas Army. We did everything together. We were really close, and we used to shunt freight cars every day like it was nobody's business. We were professional shunters. Hell, they even called us the Shunting Trio. But one day, Father Ed showed up and took my two brothers. Then he came up to me and promised to keep them alive as long as I did what he said. Too scared, I complied, and then I ended up working for Father Ed. At first it was nice, but then I realized all the heinous crimes that he's done. And let me just say it's not pretty. Oh, that's horrible. I want to go back on my promise. I really do. It's just, if I do, then my brothers will be gone. But if I don't, my home, the entire universe will be gone. I just, I just don't know what to do, Thomas. I really don't. As someone who's been through the same exact thing, I can sympathize. But don't worry, when this whole nightmare is over, we will make sure that your brothers are safe. Really? How? I've teamed up with a group of Thomases from different universes to try and defeat Father Ed and end this whole nightmare saga once and for all. Please, Emma. We're gonna need all the help we can get. If you help us, we will make sure that your brothers are safe. Are you sure this is gonna work? You have our word. 
Because at the end of the day, how do we know Father Ed's not crazy enough to go back on his word? You're right about one thing. Father Ed is extremely unpredictable, and as a result, he's very dangerous. All right, you can count me in. All right, the other Thomases are probably inside the lair. When they get here, we are getting out of this place and destroying it. Nightmare Thomas, thank God you're all right. So, you must be Emma. Yep, that's my name. Don't wear it out. It's okay, Thomas One. She's on our side. She's only doing this because her two brothers' lives are in danger. That's terrible. Don't worry, Emma. We'll make sure your brothers are safe at all costs. I hate to interrupt your little conversation, but Father Ed is coming. I have an idea. Emma and I will distract Father Ed for as long as we can. Thomas One, you and the other Thomases fight the Nightmare Thomas army. All right, good luck. Well, Emma, I hope you've prepared Thomas, because I'd like to finalize the weapon and destroy the multiverse once and for all. <laughs> Don't do it, Father Ed. I'm done being your minion. I'm done being your servant. That is why I'm leaving. I swear, Emma, if you chicken out on me now, I will make sure you never see your brothers again! Come on, Thomas. Let's get out of here. Uh, Bill and Ben! After them! You yes, got it, boss. Don't let them get away! Father Ed, I want you and the Nightmare Thomases to take care of Thomas's army. I'll deal with Thomas One myself. I'm on it, Father Ed. And Prometheus, don't embarrass me again. No, sir. I won't, sir. Thomas One, go take care of Father Ed. We'll take care of the Nightmare Thomases. I'll take that Thomas in front of me. The rest of you take on the rest. You got it, Anti-Thomas. Primal Thomas, Tina, let's do this. Leave him be, Purple Tank Engine. I'll take care of this troublemaker myself. Prometheus, you better start talking now. How do we undo this? <laughs> Why should I tell you? You destroyed my one chance of being able to wield gold dust. I get it. You're not going to talk without a fight. Well, bring it on. Surrender now, Anti-Thomas. I have won. What's the matter? Did I get a little tank engine all steel? <laughs> what the? You took away my wheels! Now, what was that you said about surrendering and winning? How the bloody hell did you do that? Even if I wanted to tell you, I have no idea. Now, how do we undo this? There's only one way to undo the brainwashing. Father Ed must be destroyed. But it's not like it's gonna matter anyway, because Father Ed is unstoppable. Now, if you're going to scrap me, just get it over with! Oh, trust me. I'm not gonna scrap you. I am gonna do something far worse. Nowhere to run now, Puffball. Oh, God, we've been cornered. Emma, what do we do? Don't worry, Thomas. I got this. Hey, Drake and Josh, who's the better live-action Spider-Man? Oh, that's easy. It's Tommy Maguire. 
Wait, what? Ben, what the hell are you talking about? Tobey Maguire is the best Spider-Man out there. No, Bill. What is it with you and the classics? The newer stuff is better, which is why Tom Holland's better. Tobey's the original live-action Spider-Man. That's why he's better. He is not. He is too. The is perfect not. distraction. Emma, you're a genius. Oh, yes. And they're gonna start getting physical in three, two... All right, that's it. I'm kicking your ass. Toby better! No, Tom! Come on, Thomas. Let's get out of here. Agreed. Maguire! Holland, Maguire! I can't believe that actually worked. I know. The ultimate getaway. Oh, and by the way, the best live-action Spider-Man... And where do you think you're going? Yeah, just because we bicker a lot doesn't mean we're not self-aware. Ah, damn it. Any other ideas, genius? No, I was convinced that that plan would actually work. Father Ed is gonna be so happy with us when we bring you back! Bill? Oh my god, where did Bill go? He just disappeared! Oh no, I, I don't wanna die! I don't wanna die! Thomas, what just happened? I have no idea. Hello, sis. Hi, sis. Billy? Charlie? But how did you guys escape the prison? A kind yellow tank engine found us and let us out. Oh, thank Nigel you two are okay. All right, guys. Let's go find the others. Emma, you and your brothers help the Thomases ward off the Nightmare Thomases. I'll go look for Thomas One and Father Ed. You got it, Thomas. Let's end this nightmare once and for all. Well, well. It looks like it's just you and me, Thomas. Your reign of terror ends here, Father Ed. I won't let you destroy the multiverse. Oh, but I must, Thomas. It's about damn time that people and engines alike started treating me with the respect that I deserve. If you destroy the multiverse, then you won't get any respect. Why? Is it because that you're jealous that I'm better than you? No. It's because there will be nobody around that can respect you. Ah, enough talk. Let's finish this once and for all. Don't have to tell me twice. Why do you even need me for your stupid weapon anyway? When Nightmare Thomas told you that you had a secret potential unlike any other, he wasn't kidding. You have more power than any engine that I've ever encountered. And that power is the key to destroying the multiverse. Does it have to be me? Yes, because out of all the Thomases and all the multiverses, you are by far the most powerful. And once I combine you with the weapon, I will be unstoppable! <laughs> So, you're still causing trouble, I say, Jason? Well, it isn't Jason Sheeran. The one responsible for this whole mess. Thomas, get out of here. I'll hold him off for as long as I can. No way. If Father Ed's gonna be defeated, we're doing this together. We managed to push him back. Let's follow him. It's over, Father Ed. We have the high ground. That's only but a taste of our fury, Father Ed. Do you yield? <laughs> I think you know the answer to that. Oh my god. Jason, what's happening to him? It's the Black Dust. 
It's taking full control over him. Yes. Yes. The power. It feels so good. <laughs> now, I've got a question for you two. Do you yield? No, we do not. Very well. Have it your way. <laughs> Damn it, Father Ed's too strong. What do we do now? For once in my life, Thomas, I really don't know. Now to destroy Jason and to take Thomas as prisoner. What the? Nightmare, Thomas. You guys get out of here. I'll hold Father Ed off for as long as I can. Wait, what about you? Thomas, we have to go now. You traitor! I granted you ultimate power beyond your comprehension. And this is how you repay me? No, you betrayed me. I saw you like a father, but you didn't see me as a son. You saw me as a servant. Nonsense. I treated you like a son. I was like a father to you, damn it. If you want, I'll even give you another chance to be on my side. And together, we could destroy the multiverse and become unstoppable! <laughs> no, I refuse to be a nightmare. I don't want to be this way anymore. I just want to be plain old me. You're an egotistical, manipulative liar and bully. And I would rather burn in the scrapyard than join you. Fine. If you don't want to help me, then I will send you back to the fiery pits of hell, where you belong. Okay. Wait a minute. Are you pulling me? No! No, 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 no! No, no, no! 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 Wow. Your friend actually did it. He actually defeated Father Ed. Nightmare Thomas did more than defeat Father Ed. He defeated his past. It's all over. The nightmare has officially come to an end. And it's all because of Nightmare Thomas. Come on, Thomas. Let's get out of here. Agreed. Thank you all for coming on such short notice, fellow Thomases. Of course, Thomas. We're here for you. I'm just glad that it's over. I'm so happy that I'm back to normal again. We are all gathered here today to celebrate the victory of the multiverse. We have successfully saved the multiverse from a dimension hopping demonic. Who can say that? Not a lot of people, but we did it. As a reward for all our hard work, I have decided to open up a council, the Council of Thomases, where we can all gather together and come up with new ideas on how to protect the multiverse and keep it alive at all costs. And now, before you all return to your universes, I would like to have a moment of silence for our fallen heroes who have sacrificed themselves to help us defend the multiverse. Oh yes, Nightmare Thomas. He lived a villain and died a hero. Nightmare Thomas and Lady will be devastatingly missed. Have a moment of silence for Lady and Nightmare Thomas. Okay, now that the moment of silence is over, you can all return to your universes now. Proteus, take the Thomases back to their universes. <laughs> Well done, Thomas. You and the other Thomases have done amazing work. Yeah, Nigel, we really did. I just wish Lady was here to see this. I'm sure she already knows. Thomas? Yes, Emma? I know you're not the Thomas that saved my life, but I just wanted to thank you anyway. You're welcome, Emma. 
and we all played a part in saving not just your life, but the lives of billions. Hey Emma, since you're here, what happened to Bill and Ben and Prometheus? Well, Bill and Ben were sent back to their universes. Meanwhile... Hey, Ben, we're back in our universe. Really? Yes, we survived! Looks like we're not gonna die after all. Bill and Ben, your ass is grass! Uh-oh, they should be punished soon. As for Prometheus... Uh, it gets pretty dark. Anti Thomas told me everything, but I don't know if you're gonna like this or not. Why? What did Anti Thomas do? Meanwhile, <sighs> when I told Anti Thomas I wanted to be punished for my actions, this is not what I meant! <sighs> well, at least it's peaceful here. He did what? I know, pretty dark, right? Well,. At least Prometheus can be useful once and for all. The same thing did happen to Smudger, so... Well, I guess it's goodbye, and time for you to return to your universe. That's just it, Thomas. Father Ed destroyed my universe, so now me and my brothers don't really have a place to go to. Excuse me, but are any of you an engine by the name of... Thomas? Yes, that's me. Who are you? I am the Gordon from Nightmare Thomas and Father Ed's universe, and I have come to thank you for freeing us from the demon known as Father Ed. Well, Gordon, we were just doing our duty to try and defend the multiverse as much as we can. Oh, by the way, Gordon, Emma told me that her universe has been destroyed and she and her brothers don't have a place to work. Do you think maybe they could work with you? Do you really think I could work in your universe? I don't see why not. Sir Topham Hat is always looking for new engines. And if it's alright with Nigel, that is. Well, I guess I could make some arrangements. Then it's settled. Miss Emma, I hope you and your brothers can join us very soon. Oh my god, a new job. This is the greatest day of my life. I'm gonna go tell my brothers the news. Goodbye, Thomas. Goodbye, Emma. Hope you come to visit us. I will, Thomas. <sighs> She's such a nice tank engine. Come on, Thomas. Let's get you back to your branch line. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. <laughs>